What's up, Comic Book Nation? Welcome back to our studio here, the comicbook.com, San Diego Comic Con headquarters. I'm Brandon Davis, and I'm joined. Cassie Lang herself is here, ladies and gentlemen. Emma Furman. Uh, first of all, congratulations. This is your first time at Comic Con. Mm -hmm. You walked the floor for yes, the first time. I did. Tell me, like, first impression. Oh my gosh, a lot of people, even on preview night. So I haven't been in, and it's Thursday, and I'm a little scared of the crowd because preview night was busy. <sighs> Can't even imagine. Yeah, it's like 100,000 people in but there. But it was incredible. So if you do go walk the floor again, is there anything like that, you're, that you would actually geek out over? You kind of really want to get a chance to see it. Oh my gosh. Um, you know, I saw the exterior of the Nickelodeon um, booth, <laughs> and so I just want to go inside. I mean, I didn't even really watch SpongeBob when I was growing up, but like just seeing it, I was like, I have to get inside there. It's I'm just... not gonna lie to you, I watch SpongeBob now. So it's okay. <laughs> uh, but you were cast in Avengers Endgame, mm -hmm. which was probably the hardest secret to keep in your entire life. Definitely. So let's start at the beginning of that, okay? Uh, because now you can finally share all of the secrets. How did it come up? Like, what was the first contact of an audition or a okay. possibility? How did it start? So my agent called me twice, and I'd missed the first call. And when they call you twice, you're like, okay, either something really bad happened or something really good happened. And so we picked up, and they're like, you got an audition for an Avengers movie. We don't know the role. We don't know anything, but it's Marvel. And and then so he was trying to tell me that it was Black Widow. So that's who we assumed it was. Um, so I got fake sides, um, which were actually similar to my actual scene, just way more dialogue. Um, and yeah, I went in, I auditioned, they were seeing a select amount of girls, and um, I mean, that's pretty much it. it so was fast secret. forward from there to finding out you right. got where is it another phone call? How does that go Yeah, down? so I feel like two weeks went by and hadn't heard anything, so I guess I was like, okay, I gotta let this one go. Um, and then we get a call, I'm back in Texas actually, and my mom called me down and she was like, your team's on the phone. And I was like, well, what does that mean? And so I answer and they told me you got the role and, and they told me what role because I had no idea. And so I just remember like screaming. That's, I just screamed out loud. If I was driving out. a car and Marvel called and they were like, <laughs> you got the part, I'd probably hit a fire hydrant or something. Oh my God. Oh my God, so make well congratulations. Thank you. So you get the part, then I'm guessing you're on set a couple days later. Mm -hmm. So who is the first you know, actor who the audience will know that you guys, that yeah. you met? So I went to hair and makeup and I sat next to Benedict Wong, who is the sweetest human being <laughs> in the amazing. entire world. So I just chatted up with him and Benedict Cumberbatch was down in the, the end of the, it's a huge trailer because they have such a large cast. So he's down at the end, so I got to walk over and meet him really quickly. And, um, but I talked to Wong. And that was the first person. And then Paul came in later to the trailer. And so I'm sitting there and I'm like, he's literally sitting right next to me. And I'm like, okay, does he know who he is? Or should I say, like, should I introduce myself? So I'm just sitting there and he's sitting there. And I'm like, oh my God, like I have to say something. This is getting weird. And then he's like, are you my daughter? And so that's, that's how we met. I hope that's the first time Paul Rudd has ever had to say that. I really hope so. <laughs> oh my God, but, I, me too. But, but that's awesome. So yeah. then you go on this journey then after filming did you get to meet any, were you, were you a Marvel fan? Like, and was there anybody who you were like, I really want to meet that person? Because for me, I always wanted to meet Robert Downey Jr. Oh, of course. I checked that box for the first time ever at the Endgame premiere. It was the oh, coolest wow. moment of my entire life. So who, for you, was kind of like your Marvel idol that you got to check that box and meet them? I mean, honestly, and I'm not lying when I say this, it probably is Paul Rudd because Friends and Parks and Rec are my two favorites, and he's in both. So I was super excited. That was the first thing we talked about in the trailer, not Marvel, but Friends. So that's what that's, that's And what he we looks exactly to. the same as he did on Friends. He, he literally does not age. How does like, he do that? Can it's I please get those jeans? <laughs> uh, but I, I also, last thing, you talked to Adam Barnhart, uh, who's I did. of comicbook.com. Yes. And you told him you got in trouble. Mm, yes. Tell me kind of that story. You posted a photo of a sunset. Right. So I get to Atlanta and we're, it's nighttime and we're driving to, it's out in Pinewood Studios, sort of farther out of Atlanta. And so it's out in the country. It just rained. It was gorgeous. So I took a picture and um, I still have that picture, by the way. And um, I just tagged like Atlanta, Georgia, and I posted on my story. And the next day it said I'd gone through hair and makeup and we get on the, a knock and it's, Mr. Barry Curtis, uh, head of security of Marvel, and I had no idea who he was at that point, so he introduced himself as head of security, and I was like, oh, what, what are you here to talk about? You know, like, what, what's going on? And so he just basically told me that I couldn't post anything like that, and I went on to explain, like, I understand, and that I wasn't gonna be, like, 
hey guys, I'm on the set of Avengers, um, you know, anything like that. And he right. said, like, I totally get that. You're not the first person we've actually had to get onto today about social media posting. I mean, they were working with Tom Holland. Yes. And he likes um, to just share well, everything. I'll <laughs> let him keep the reputation of the spoiler, and I'll just have that one little blip where I did that. So, were you, I mean, did you try to take other photos? That, like, or was it? What is, like, the security, like, how does that go down? Okay, so here's, I had to get security clearance to watch them film another scene on set. So while he was in the trailer, we were like, well, we're here for a few hours before they shoot. Can we watch them Wong? film? It was, okay, so I'm not actually sure because, you know, it could have gotten cut out, but sure. they were in the compound and Scarlett was there and Don Cheadle was there and Sean Gunn as the raccoon was there. <laughs> and who else, uh, who am I forgetting? Um, Brie was there, uh, Nebula. Oh, this might have been the beginning of the movie. So that's yeah, what I yeah, think. Yeah. I think, oh, and Denai was there and she talked to me about how cute my shoes were and I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, I was Michelle like, <laughs> likes my shoes. I know, right? <laughs> um, so yeah. That's amazing. That's so cool. It's super tight security. Like there were literally like, so to enter a soundstage, there's lots of doors and like security that you get through. And there's posters on the wall of memes of like Captain America. You know where you get to the post credit scene where it's like a joke and he's like telling you to be good and stuff? It's that with him saying, remember, no phones on, no taking pictures. And so like, they know how tight, oh, you know, yeah. tight security I've, is. I've they like to make jokes about it I've been lucky enough to go to Pinewood and I've seen like Nick Fury pictures like, tell yes, somebody. You know what I'm talking you know, about. Yeah, they have yes. them everywhere. Like yes. if you see somebody, tell them, sell them, the, tell it's security. Crazy. It is crazy, and they all must tell on each other because none of the stuff ever gets out. Yeah. Like, I look for it. So the director of photography, I believe, had it up on his, like, credit, his resume somewhere that he worked on Avengers Annihilation, and that was the first leaked title, and they had to change it to Endgame. Oh, jeez. That's... That's why they had to do that. This security is insane. I know. So are you ready to deal with security again? Are you, like, if, if Marvel calls, are you like, yo, I'm, I am... Cassie no, Lang, uh, let's go. No. Uh, yes, of course. Because I mean, so Cassie Lang is, I mean, she's a very important character in Marvel Comics. Yeah. So have you kind of educated yourself on, at, in, in detail of who she becomes and what you know, totally. stories could happen? Oh, totally. The second I got, I heard the name Cassie Lang for the first time when I got the role, I was like, you know, trying to figure out, you know, her backstory. And I watched Ant-Man and so I learned all about her heart and how she had to have pin particles put in her to like continue to live and how she becomes stature and stinger and I learned all about that and yeah. You're, she's I know. an expert. She's not playing around I know. guys. No, this I don't is play the games. real deal. I love it. Well I mean if we see a young Avengers movie or something. I, I, I've I honestly hope. turned into such a nerd though. Like seriously. I've become so into it. I have comics <laughs> myself. Like when people talk to me about it I'm like spouting off all these things and they're like okay bro you need to chill. <laughs> like I, I seriously am super into it now. Your Friday nights must be so different now. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. That's great though. Uh, I, I love because I love here. Sometimes people don't even go back and read it. They're just like ah, I just read the script and I do my part. But you're into it and I love uh, that. No, my script was like this long because everything else was blacked out. Were there, was there <laughs> were like other lines that, did you guys oh shoot anything God. else? Yes. That, so yes. so when, when did you find, when you shot the other lines, did you find out when you saw the movie, what, like for the first time and was oh, that at yeah. the premiere? Or? Mm -hmm. I, we shot so many different things where he calls me Peanut. Um, there's this whole dialogue where I'm like, I thought you were dead. If he called you Peanut, uh, I would have just... I know, I know. There was so many, there was one where he like kisses me on the cheek. Uh, there's all these different takes um, with much longer dialogue. So I was super curious to see what they picked because at the end of the day, they were like, all right, let's just do a few. Y'all just say whatever you want. And that's what we did. Awesome. So I was curious. You guys both did a great job in that Thank scene, by the way. It was so very emotional. I mean, it was, it was like quick, but it was the emotion you offered in a brief scene was really great. Thank Both you, that you means a lot. Thank you. Keep so it up. So uh, my last question for you, since you got to be a part of the, we're seven million dollars away from this being the biggest movie of all time, so I can only imagine it's opening a few doors for you. Has the phone ring, have you guys been getting other opportunities? Has it created opportunities for you? I mean, that's the goal as any actor. I mean, having Avengers Endgame on your resume is just like, I mean, when I hand someone my resume, they're like, whoa, you know? So yeah. it definitely gives me um, a higher level of like credibility to be in the MCU. A little bit of street cred. Exactly. Yeah. So um, I'm just really honored to be a part of the family and um, I can't wait to see what's next. Awesome. Well, I'm rooting for you. I can't wait to see Thank what's next so either. Much. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Emma Furman, AKA Cassie Lang in the MCU. Make sure you stay tuned to comicbook.com for all of our coverage from San Diego Comic-Con. I'm BD, I'll see you later.